الحمد لله رب العالمين والعاقبة للمتقين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وبعد الحمد لله as we've mentioned previously my brothers and sisters the أهل السنة والجماعة they gather between الرجاء والخوف the hope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy and reward and likewise they have fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's punishment yesterday my brothers and sisters you heard a detailed explanation alhamdulillah and adillah and proof regarding the bliss and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy and how Allah is the most merciful arham ar rahimin to his ibad and to his slaves and you heard the numerous proofs regarding how it will be in Jannah. But likewise, Ikhwan, the reality is also, just as Allah Azza wa Jal Arham al Rahimin, Shadidul Iqab, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is most severe in punishment. Throughout these days, you have heard the hadith that we have often repeated and mentioned, where the Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said, لِلَّهِ عُتَقَاءً مِنَ النَّارِ ذَلِكَ كُلُّ لَيْلَةٍ That Allah Azza wa Jal frees slaves every night from the hellfire. Slaves that were destined for the hellfire. But due to this glorious month, due to Allah's mercy, due to the fasting, due to the righteous actions from Allah's mercy, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala frees slaves, his ibad from the hellfire. And the only way that we can really appreciate this hadith, just as the only way we can really appreciate the one that will receive his reward of paradise, if you know about paradise. The only way that we can really appreciate this hadith is if we know what Allah is saving his slaves from. Regarding that punishment, it's enough to know that our Lord Azza wa Jal commands us to save ourselves from the hellfire and to save our families. Ya ayyuhaladina amanu ku anfusakum wa ahlikum nara, a command by Allah Azza wa Jal. O you who believe, save yourselves, yourselves first, and your families from the hellfire. And then Allah explains that hellfire. A fire that is fueled with men and stone. So Allah Azza wa Jal, our creator, the one that is most merciful is also commanding us, save yourselves and your families from that hellfire. So what will make you know about this hellfire? What is that thing that Allah is commanding us to save us ourselves from that thing? Wallahi ikhwan, it's not a light affair. It is not even an easy task to even speak about it. But may Allah guide my tongue. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he mentions, وَجِيِّ يَوْمَ إِذِنْ بِجَهَنَّمْ That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says on that day, meaning the day of judgment, the hellfire will be brought forth. And as the messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he mentioned likewise, hadith which is in Muslim, and Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala, he narrates, he says, Yu'ta bin nar yawm al qiyamah. That on the day of judgment, the hellfire will be brought forth. Laha sab'eena alf zimamin. And it will have 70,000 rains, like ropes, 70,000. And then it mentions, sab'eena alf malika. That there will be 70,000. Angels holding on to one of those. So you have 70,000 reins. And each rain, each rope will have 70,000 angels. يجرونها, bringing the hellfire forth. Just imagine the size of that creation. Prepared for punishment. On an occasion, the Messenger Muhammad was sitting with his companions. And the narrator he mentions, كُنَّا جَالِسًا مَعَ النَّبِيُّ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهُ وَسَلَمْ فَسَمِعْنَا وَجَبَةً 
we were sitting and then we heard this terrible, terrible noise, loud noise. So then the messenger of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to them, Atadruna ma hadha? Do you know what that is? They said, Allahu wa rasoolu a'lam. Allah and his messenger know best. And then the messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said that that is a stone that has been casted into the hellfire. And it has constantly been falling for 70 years. Now it has reached its base. A stone that has been falling for 70 years. It takes 70 years to reach the top to the bottom. This is what Allah Azawajal frees his slaves from. This punishment. On the occasion, the hellfire complained to Allah and said, Oh Allah, why is it that the mutakabbirun, the arrogant and the wretched ones, they enter me? Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he mentions, addressing the nar, anti adabi, or oh, anti adabi, that you are my punishment. And addressing the paradise, you are my mercy. The hellfire complains to Allah in another hadith regarding the severity of its punishment and its heat. قَالَ النَّبِيُّ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ إِشْتَقَتِ النَّالِ إِلَى رَبِّهَا فَقَالَ يَا رَبِّي أَكَلَ بَعْضِي بَعْضَا فَنَفِسْنِي The hellfire complained to Allah and said, Oh my Lord, part of me is eating other parts. Relieve me, help. It's the heat is eating up other parts. So then Allah Azza wa Jal allowed it to breathe twice. The Messenger Muhammad وسلم, said, What you feel in the summer, that heat, is a breath from the hellfire. And that cold, what you feel in the winter, is likewise a breath from the hellfire. The hellfire complained, my brothers, because of its severe heat. The Messenger وسلم, said, Its heat is 70 times more than the fire that we have here. So when you hear that hadith, that Allah Azza wa Jal free slaves from the hellfire. And that is every night we must pray to Allah to have mercy upon us, to make us from those individuals. None of us, Ikhwan, Wallahi, we cannot even bear 30 seconds of that punishment. Nobody, Ikhwan. Allah Azza wa Jal mentions regarding the Jahannam. The Jahannam, Ikhwan, is such a punishment that there is no comfort in it. And it's not temporary, it is everlasting. Not as those individuals that say, وَقَالُوا لَن تَمَسَنَ النَّارُ إِلَّا أَيَّامًا مَعْدُودًا They say that we will go into the hellfire and we will burn for a number of days. But then we'll be over. Meaning, live as we wish to live. The, the hellfire, it will burn us and we will die. لا. Allah Azza wa Jalla has talked about the hellfire. And from His wisdom, the, the punishment is such that it is continuous. Allah Azza wa Jalla mentions in the Quran, وَلَا يُمُوتُ فِيهَا وَلَا يحيا. They will not live in the hellfire and they will not die. They will not live or die. That is the nature of the punishment. Allah Azza wa Jalla mentions in the Quran, كُلَّمَا نَذِجَتْ جُلُودَهُمْ بَدَّلْنَاهُ جُلُودًا غَيْرَهَا لِيَذُوقُ الْعَذَابِ Allah Azza wa Jalla, he says that every time their skins burn, Allah will burn their skins. And when the skins are totally burnt, then Allah will bring the skins back again to burn again. And look what Allah says. So you may taste the punishment. Which one of us, Ikhwan? Who of us has the sabr for that type of punishment? As the ulama, they say, Wallahi, لو خرجنا من الرمضان ونجينا من النار كفايا if we left Ramadan and we had salvation from the hellfire, Wallah, that is sufficient. If we receive no other reward, and you heard the reward regarding paradise, but we heard nothing else, we, re we received nothing else except that we had salvation from the hellfire, then Wallah, we are victorious. Wallah, it is something, Ikhwan, that Allah talks about in detail. The nature of the punishment. The people in the hellfire, they will call Wanadu Malik, that they will call to the gatekeeper of the hellfire. Ya Malik, 
ليقضي ربك that O oh Malik may your Lord do with us يقضي علينا ربك may your, do, may your Lord finish us meaning just kill us so there is no more they won't be able to take it and then the keeper will say that you will remain here you will remain and you know the narrations it mentions around the verses it mentions that they will make dua they will call but their dua will not be answered this is the nature of the hellfire this is when we say when Allah frees the slaves from the hellfire comprehend what that means my brothers and sisters it's not a light affair if Allah blesses us to have salvation from the hellfire, wallahi, wallahi, we should be thankful servants. The food and the punishment, everything about it is a punishment. Ibn Abbas, radiallahu ta'ala, listen to what he says. Tabaraka man ja'ala li ahla nar min al nar thiyaba. Allahu Akbar. He said, glory be to him that the one who brings about for the people of the hellfire clothing made from the fire. And then he mentions the verse that their clothing will be from Qatiran. What is this Qatiran? The ulama, they say that it is boiling, hot, melting copper. This will be the clothes of the people in the hellfire. Regarding their food, Allah Azza wa Jal mentions regarding their food. That their food will be ghislin. What is ghislin? It is the pus that comes out of the wounds. And some of the mufassirun, he says, that what comes out of the private parts in the hellfire, this is their food. And no one eats that except for the sinners. None of us can bear that type of punishment. So yes, Allah is most merciful, but he is very, very severe in punishment. Allah Azza wa Jalla likewise regarding the food, what does he mention? Inna shajarat al-zaqoom ta'amul athim That there is a tree in the hellfire. It is called zaqoom. Its, its fruits are like the head of the devils, the shayateen. And that is the food for the sinners. The food for the sinners. The Messenger of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned in the hadith regarding this. He said, لَوْ قَطَرَتْ قَطَرًا مِنَ الزَّقُومِ فِي الدُّنْيَا That if there was a drop of zakum that was to come on this earth, لَفَسَدَتْ الْكُلِّ لِأَحْلِ الْأَرْضِ وَمَعْشِيَهُمْ That it will corrupt everything that's on the earth. Corrupt everything for the people on the earth and their livelihood, everything. It will corrupt everything. Just a drop. And listen to what the Messenger Muhammad sallallahu said after there and after. فَكَيْفَ لِمَنْ يَقُونْ زَقُومْ تَعَامَهُ لَا إِلَّهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ So how will it be for the one that his food will be zakum? If zakum is only a drop, that it will destroy every single thing that we have on this earth. A drop. Then the Messenger said, then ponder and reflect for the one that will eat zakum. Allah Azza wa has mentioned that there will be springs of hameem, hot boiling water that will sever the insides. Wallah, ikhwan, iron collars prepared for the sinners. And we can go on and on. It's numerous, it's not a time now to give a dars. But from my heart, I ask Allah Azza wa that he saves myself and my brothers and my sisters from a punishment that not even none of us can withhold or withstand, not even 10 seconds. So yes, Allah Azza wa Jal is most merciful, but he is severe in punishment. Take the advice of what Allah has commanded you with. Save yourselves and your families from the hellfire. And finally, Ikhwan, Allah Azza wa Jal, the Messenger Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has mentioned in an authentic hadith to show you his mercy. He said, إِذَا سَعَلَ رَجُلُ Muslim الْجَنَّةَ ثَلَاثًا that if a Muslim, a male or a person, shall I say, requests from Allah paradise, Allah enter me into paradise. فَقَالَتِ الْجَنَّةِ اللَّهُمَ أَدْخِلْهُ فِي الْجَنَّةِ Then paradise will say, any person that requests to be entered into paradise three times, then paradise says, oh Allah, enter him into paradise. 
And then he mentions, وَإِثْتَجَارَ الرَّجُلًا مُسْلِمْ مِنَ النَّارِ فَقَالَتِ النَّارِ أَلَّهُمَّ أَجِرْهُ مِنِّي That if there is the, a person that says, Oh Allah, I seek refuge in you from the hellfire. Give me salvation from the hellfire. Protect me from the hellfire. He says it's three times. Then the hellfire says, Oh Allah, protect him from me. So we say, Allahumma ajirna min al nar. Allahumma ajirna min al nar. Allahumma ajirna min al nar. Wa kina athab al nar. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Akuli kawli hadha, astaghfiru li wa lakum, fa astaghfiruhu, innahu al ghafur rahim. Barakallahu feekum.